Hello friends, welcome back to Digitalk and session 3 of Docker. In the previous session, we have covered the architecture of Docker and we have learned about uh, the some important components of Docker. In this session, we will extend our discussion to understand the Docker file along with that official and custom images. Okay. So, this is a screenshot of one of the slides from the previous presentation. So, what I want you to focus here on two important terms the first one is extended images are built using a docker file that means what we have discussed so far is that when we uh, create our own images okay then we use a docker file so docker file is the main configuration file where we define all of the configurations that are or you can say whatever the customizations that we need in our extended images okay and then second is base images which is official and custom images extended images on top of base images so when we talk about the uh, official images and our custom and extended images so what does it mean how how we can create that one so we will understand that process and from the next session we will jump into the installation of docker and the uh, different other uh, commands now this is one of the diagram that you can see on the internet and you will see this anywhere uh, on the internet when you will search for the docker file okay so here what does it mean is that there is a docker file for with the use of docker file you can create your docker image and then from the docker image you can run your containers okay but i have extended this image with with more details and what is that i have added one more term base docker image and then docker file and then extended docker image and then docker container so what does it mean is that uh, first we have a base docker image okay and then on top of that we do a certain kind of a customizations with the help of docker file okay and then we create our extended images and from that we can run our docker container now what is the meaning of customizations for example if i say about that we have a base image of uh, apache web server right but when we install the apache web server after that we have to deploy our web applications right website on the apache and then we have to do a lot of configurations in the different configurations file whether it is http.com or any file that we do a lot of configurations for the web servers along with the deployment of our website right so once we have a base image of apache web server then whatever the website we wanted to deploy on the apache and whatever the configurations uh, we want to do in the configuration file different configurations files so all of these customizations we can define in the docker file and then we build our new extended image and in that case what will happen is that it will take the base apache web server image on top of that it will apply all the customizations whatever we will define in the docker file and then it will create the extended docker image right and then we can start our apache web server and then you can use our website right so docker file it is a simple text file with a set of commands or instructions so when you go for the creation of docker file you have to learn some basic command for that one how to uh, call the base image inside the docker file and then how you copy how you can copy the files but there are a lot of different uh, some basic commands out there that you have to learn before you go for the building of the docker files and these command instructions are executed successively to perform actions on the base image to create a new docker image so that means whatever the instructions that we will define in the docker image all the instructions will be executed in the sequence one by one and once you will run the uh, docker extended image command build command okay then you can see it on the screen as well one by one it will show you that all the steps that is good it is going to execute right and it will help you to create custom docker image so one what, what, what we are doing with the help of docker file is we are creating our extended docker image right so let us come again back to the same diagram we have a base docker image with the help of docker file we are creating the extended docker image and then we are running the docker containers right so when we talk about the docker image then there are some official images and second part is your custom images so official images are that means pre-built images from the organizations okay so as of today a lot of uh, almost all organizations are providing the uh, their the uh, softwares in the containers for the decoration right so with the help of official images you can create uh, the extended image using the docker files or either you have the option you can create your own custom images and then based on the custom images uh, you can create the docker file and then you can run the containers you can uh, using the extended images right 
so as i said there are multiple official images are available on the uh, net or internet as of today and the multiple organizations are providing the docker images okay so one is here from the docker and the url for that is hub.docker.com okay and you can see that in the screenshot there are a lot of images are there like nginx image are there ubuntu image are there python is there mongo is there httpd is there node.js is there similarly there are a lot of images that is available on the docker website and if you wanted to build any of your website with the help of nginx or python Python or Mongo or HTTP decon for uh, Node.js, then you can directly pull the images from the official Docker uh, websites as well. Okay, and this is the official uh, Docker registry from the Oracle, which is container-registry.oracle.com, and they also provide the pre-built images for a lot of softwares that you can directly pull and then start utilizing to create your own base images okay so now what does it mean is that you have official images you can and when we talk about the official images then you have to download it from the official repository of the organization okay and then we talk about the custom images so custom images that means they are not pre-built right so what we were doing in the official images is that they, the images were already built by the organizations we were just pulling the base image and then we are extending our images now what we are saying in the customer image is that we don't have a pre-built image that means you have to build your own images and to build your own images what you need is you need the software right so that means first you have to download the software on your host once the softwares are downloaded in the host then you have to create your own base image and once your base image is created then you can extend that base image with the help of docker file writing the commands in the docker file okay now so what is the difference between official and custom images that in the official uh, images you have pre-built images you can directly pull the image and then you can customize that one and when we talk about the custom then you have to download the software and then you have to create your base image and then you can use that base image to extend it according to your requirements right so now if we come to docker file syntax so as i said it is a simple text file where we have to learn certain basic commands when we write the instructions in the docker file okay so a little bit bit more about the docker file is that by default the docker build command will look for a docker file at the root of the build context that means whenever we run the build command it look for a file for the commands which is docker file the name of that file is docker file d in caps okay and when we run the command then build command at the last of that command we put the syntax at dot so dot it means look for the docker file in the current directory okay that means when you uh, when you write the docker file you have to write all the commands in your docker file and then put in a directory and when we are going to build your command then you have to make sure that you are running the build command from the same directory okay and then you can specify the dot at the end of the build command so that it 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 identify the file in docker file in the current directory however if you want to override this file name you don't want to use a docker file name which is a default name then you have an option hyphen f hyphen hyphen file option with the help of that you can use any of the file name instead of docker file okay that is completely depend on the kind of customizations that you want okay so docker run instructions in a docker file in order whatever the in order you will write the command it will execute one by one and a docker file must begin with the from instruction so one major thing in the docker file is or you can have a major point for consideration is that whenever you write the command in the docker file the first instruction will be from and with the from we specify the image from that we are creating our extended image okay so what does it mean in the previous slide we have discussed about we can suppose that we have uh, downloaded the apache web server base image from the docker registry and then we are extending that one right so what we are doing we already have a base image of apache web server which we are going to extend so whenever we are writing the instructions in the docker file for the customization then in front of from we will write the base image name of the web server which we have already pulled from the registry right so it will extend the image that will be defined in the from syntax so from syntax instructions specify the parent image from which you are building so whatever whenever you are going to extend any of the image that image name need to specify in the from command okay now what is the format of docker file syntax is simple the if you write a hash that means it will be a comment and below hash you can write the instruction instructions mean the specific command of the docker file and the argument the whatever the argument that you are going to specify in particular instruction okay for example let us see that there, there is a docker file which is you can see on the screen what we are doing here is that we are running cert certain set of instructions that we are creating a linux based image right and what we are doing in that linux based image is we are 
After taking the base image, we are updating the repository with the help of yum update command and then we are installing the httpd on our Linux base image. Okay, and then once it is finished, we are prompting a message on the screen image created. So now what we need to do for that one, we have to write a Docker file. The first line in the Docker file is from and then Linux. So Linux is the base image name which we have pulled from the Docker registry. Now what we are going, we are going to extend this base image and we are creating a new image. Okay, and for that what we are writing is that in the new image we have to uh, update the current software with the help of yum update, and then we will install the Apache Web Server which is HTTPD, and then it is, it is create new image is created. You will see a message on the screen which is image created. So there are four or five syntax are there from in which we define the base image name. Maintainer is who is the maintainer of this particular uh, script. Okay, it will be uh, published in there. Then run is the command that you would like to run in the extended container. Okay, so apart, apart from that you have a CMD command so that will echo the output on the screen. Okay, so there are a lot of different commands are there. We, we will discuss that in the bit detail. Once we'll go for the executions, okay, uh, for the Docker file. Okay, but this is just to, to give you an overall view that how Docker file works, how we write the Docker file syntax. And similarly, you have a lot of syntaxes that you can use for according to your customization that you want. Okay, so for the first line is the Linux image, right? The next line has to start from the from keyword and then a maintainer. And then we have a few run commands, but exactly we wanted to execute in the new image. And then at the last is CMD command, okay, display a message to the user. So this is the basic syntax of the Docker file. Okay, so these are the certain some more basic uh, command of Docker file, but there are a lot of more apart from that as well. So from we have discussed run, we have discussed copy is to copy the file from your local directory to your Docker container. Right, so we have a Docker container which is running on the host, and when we say that we are going for the customization, that right? we are uh, we are creating our own uh, different files inside the container. For example, if we are building our website, then we have to copy complete code inside the container. We have to copy the uh, customization files inside the Docker container. So you have to copy when you are running the uh, creating the base image, uh, extended image from the base image. Then you have to specify the copy command so that you are all the code should be copied from your local host inside the container similarly you have a working directory command environment command to set the environment variables label command if you want to set any metadata for your image argument if you wanted to pass any argument when you are running your extended image volume is to mount some local mount uh, file system to your container okay this is a bit advanced option but we are going to cover it as well in a separate session and many more commands are Okay, so thanks for watching this video and next session we will see that how we can install the docker in the linux and after the installation we will start with the execution of the different docker commands thanks for watching